It's simple time once more and this is Chef Tatong at magluluto naman tayo ng isang masarap at simple recipe na siguradong magugustuhan nyo. Are you ready mga kasimple? Let's start cooking! Simple, simple, luto na ka. So today we're making a very simple pasta recipe using things na meron tayo sa bahay. Ito mga dry ingredients lang natin like for example we have our pasta, we have our canned tuna, we have olive oil and let's start cooking. Meron akong water dito na pinakuluan natin and very important when you are cooking your pasta is that you salt your water properly. So some people when they salt the water, sobrang konti nila maglagay ng asin. If you season it properly, you'll bring out the flavor of the noodles and your pasta dish will end up more delicious. Ako, ang rule of thumb ko, when I cook pasta, ganito lang yung pagsukat ko, no? I get, I get like a ring, no? Parang isang ganyan is good for one person kasi it more than doubles in size, especially much more when you add the sauce. So, ito siya. This is for two people. So, ganun lang natin. I salted my water. So, this is around 200... Uh, 20 to 250 grams and we just spread it around no we just leave it there to to boil and i just cover my pot so it cooks for around 9 to 10 minutes depending on the package instructions so you notice hindi ko nilagyan ng oil ang aking pasta wherein usually ang tinuturo sa atin salt and oil here, I did not put oil because I will cook it immediately, no? And hindi masyadong kakapit yung aking sauce if it's already coated with oil. So, eto siya. Let it cook. So, a lot of people, when we eat pasta, especially like the pasta we're making today, it's just oil-based. It's very simple. You really have to add cheese to give it more flavor. But in this case, let's assume na wala tayong parmesan cheese sa bahay. So, what do we do? So, this is a nice trick I want to teach you wherein we will make our own topping na hindi siya cheese. Okay? So, we have a pan and I just melt a little butter. So, this is around 2 tablespoons of butter and I add garlic. no? Garlic. Garlic. So, tay my garlic. I don't want my garlic to be burnt but I like it to be a bit toasted so that the garlic flavor comes out. And I add breadcrumbs. I'm just using Italian breadcrumbs. Look at that. And I season with a little bit of salt. So, a pinch of salt or two. Ayan. And I have some herbs. I'm going to use dried basil. A little bit more than a pinch. So, this will be our Parmesan cheese replacement. Ayan. And we can even add pepper if you want. So, ito na siya magiging topping natin. It's a very economical alternative to Parmesan cheese. A little bit of pepper. And we continue to toast. Ayan. So, I'm just uh, waiting for my breadcrumbs to brown a little. So it's very crisp. Ayan. My counting crunch is perfect for our pasta. Okay, that's done. And set it aside. Ito na yung aking pang finish later. Ayan. Just put it in an airtight bottle. Every time you need, you just sprinkle a little bit. You can even use it in your salads and all that. And I'm gonna heat up my pan. And start with my oil-based sauce. So I have some oil. I'm using olive oil. Around 2 tablespoons of olive oil. And I add my garlic. So this is around 1 tablespoon of garlic. Minced garlic. And again, what we do is we, we saute our garlic until it's slightly toasted on the sides. But we don't want it to be... Totally brown kasi we don't want that to, to have that bitter flavor. No, ayaw natin ng bitter garlic. I can see it's getting toasted on the side. I have some capers. Yan. Bottled capers. I just uh, allow it to saute a bit. So, masarap kasi siya na may konting saltiness and konti ding na medyo acid. No? So, I don't put lemon anymore. I don't need fresh lemon for this pasta because... May asim na na konti yung aking capers. Yan. And I have here one can of tuna in oil. Okay? Tuna in oil. Just add that there. Then I will add my caper juice. Season with some salt. And some pepper. 
So we don't want to let the pasta overcook, no? So what we do, I get some pasta water. Pasta water, I add it here. I didn't add too much salt already kasi if I put too much salt, then may salt din to magiging maalat na yung aking pasta. Actually, kung meron kang bottle tuyo, if you don't have tuna, you can use the gourmet tuyo in oil as well and it's going to be so delicious. Okay, so just drain out my pasta. So, notice, I'm not um, rinsing it anymore because I will toss it in my sauce. Look at that. I just want to add a little bit of chili flakes kasi, alam mo, masarap siya pag may konting kick. Yan, look at that. So, you notice na medyo na-absorb na ng ating pasta yung little pasta water natin. And our tuna sauce. Toss it a bit to finish. I just drizzle more olive oil no? for more flavor. Olive oil is a healthy oil, so don't you worry too much. Mm? And we're ready to plate. Wow. So it's so quick, so easy to do. You can use Parmesan cheese, or if you don't have Parmesan cheese, you just have your toasted garlic breadcrumb. Yeah, look at that. And I top with my fresh parsley and more chili flakes of course toasted garlic bread and look at that sometimes the simplest things are so sexy just like this pasta And tandaan nyo, kahit sino kaya magluto, basta simple, here's our version of tuna pasta, simple! Did you enjoy this video? Please follow and subscribe to our official pages. And of course, tag a friend as well.